Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker AMP tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can enter your airship while you're flying around to find stuff on, to, on the airship and get treasures and stuff. So this is a special request for Silpied Icon, and he says, can you show us when the player goes into the airship and presses a button, the player can walk around the ship to find treasure. Alright, Silpied Icon, let me show you what I've got here, and then I'll show you how to make it. So if you're flying around, <clears throat> and you press a button, screen's going to fade out and it's going to transfer you to your, your airship. Now this isn't my airship, this is a Falcony map, but for the sake of this demonstration we're going to pretend that this is an airship and this is the wheel to the airship. So imagine you're on an airship and this is the steering wheel. Okay now that we've got that established you can access the steering wheel to exit back to your airship uh, view. So you fly around on your airship like that. Now there's a couple of limitations as to the way that I've discovered how to do this. Um, you can only enter your airship uh, scene while you're hovering over an area that you would normally be able to land on. So let's see what happens if I'm over this ocean and I press the button. Well, the screen's going to fade out, but it's going to fade back in because in order for this to, to transfer you, we actually have to exit the airship. We have to be like this. Otherwise, when we do the transfer event, you're going to be inside your airship flying your airship, and it's going to look ridiculous. So um, this is the way that I figured out how to do it. If you find a better way, let me know. But um, if you hover over any place that you'd normally be able to land and you press the button, you'll be inside your airship and you'll be able to get treasure chests and stuff like that. And then when you're ready to go back, you go to the steering wheel, hit the button, and you can uh, fly back around. All right, let me show you how to do that. So in order to do this, you're going to need one plugin at least. Uh, possibly two. I'll put a link in the description below for all the plugins you need. You're going to need to get Ganfly's Button Common Events plugin. And you'll put it right down here, Button Common Events. So after we've got that plugin installed and turned on, we're going to go to our database and we're going to create a common event. We're going to call it Scene Airship or whatever you want, it doesn't matter. These comments you don't have to put in, these are just little tips to let you know what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a conditional statement. So we're going to right click insert new conditional branch. And then inside this conditional branch we're going to go to the, the last tab on tab 4. We're going to go down to script. We're going to type open parentheses dollar sign game capital P on player dot is capital I on in capital A on airship open and close uh, parentheses. Thank you Yanfly for that. Uh, three equal signs and then say true. This will be a boolean either they're in the airship or they're not close the parentheses and we're going to hit OK. We don't need any else branch. So what we're going to do is fade out the screen. That'll be right here on tab 2, fade out screen. <clears throat> then you're going to get on slash off vehicle. So that's going to be on uh, tab 2 as well. Get on off vehicle right here. Then you're going to do a wait for 60 frames. That's going to give the the game enough time so it doesn't look like you're landing and you're taking off. It kind of looks like the player didn't know any better. They would have never known that they landed. Then we're going to do a script call to see if they uh, managed to get... Um, so th what this is doing is checking to see if you're in the airship. And then it's going to fade out the screen and, and start the process. But then we're going to do another check because we've told it to land. But if we were unable to land, we have to do another check. So we're going to do the same thing again. Uh, the same uh, conditional statement inside here <clears throat> and if you're you've told the the common event is called and, and checked at the players in the airship and we've said land your ship but the ship hasn't landed yet then what we're going to do is fade in the screen and we're going to exit the event because the player um, is still in the airship and if we transfer at this point they're going to be on their airship but instead of walking around they're going to be flying their airship on their airship and it's completely crazy so we're going to exit event processing and uh, Exit event processing is on page one, I think. Yeah, exit under flow control, exit event processing. So we'll do a fade in screen, exit event processing, and this little conditional. Underneath that, so if we t we've uh, checked to see if they're in the airship, we've told them to land, and if they're currently landed, which means this will now be false, so we'll go straight past this, we're gonna do uh, three control variables. So we're gonna control three new variables. Right click, insert new control variable. Find three, three spots, we're going to call one player X, player Y, and player Z. So get one, player X, hit OK, go to game data, and go to character, player, map X. Hit OK, and hit OK. 
And then you're going to do the same thing for Y. Control new variable, get a new one, player, call it player Y, set it to the game data of character, player, map Y. Hit OK. Once you've done that, we're going to do one more for the map ID. So we're going to control variables again. We're going to control this one, player underscore Z. We're going to call it game data, map ID. It should be there by default. Hit OK and hit OK. Once we've got these three variables stored, this is going to remember our current location. So no matter where we're flying around, it's going to store that location. So when we go back, um, accessing the steering wheel and we'll go back to the map, we'll be in the same spot. So then we're going to transfer the player to our map that's got uh, our airship map. So you have to make a map for your airship, of course. And then you're going to transfer your player to your airship map. Hit OK. Once you've got that uh, common event created, take note of the number. So in this case, it's 27. So we're going to hit OK, save our game, go into our plugin manager, go down to our button common events. Now pick whatever button you want. For me, I'm using the multiplication number on the number pad. Doesn't really matter. You can pick whatever button you want. Double click the parameters and put the number of your common event. In my case, it was 27. So when I press that button, it's going to call this common event. Once you've done that, hit OK. Now on your map for your airship, Go to the location that you want to <clears throat> for the player to access for them to get back into the world map. So in this case, it would be the steering wheel. Um, we're using our imagination here. <laughs> uh, we're going to show a text, um, maybe a show choice. Do you want to uh, take off or disembark or whatever you want it to say? Then we're going to fade out the screen. Then we're going to transfer the player, except this time to a, instead of selecting a direct location, we're going to use the variables that we stored. So the ID is going to be our player Z, which is our map ID. We're going to set the X to player X for map uh, player X, and the Y for player Y variable. That will be our um, map Y. Then we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to get on slash off vehicle, so the player comes back up. But then we're going to wait 60 frames to give the uh, one second just to give the, the game enough time to fully get back in the air. Then we're going to fade in screen. You'll have to do one more thing on your airship map, the map that you're being teleported to from your common event. You'll have to do a very simple event, make it an auto run, make it out of the way, it doesn't need any graphics or anything. All you're going to do is do a fade in screen and an erase event. And that means every time you come back to it, it's going to be here again, it's going to fade in the screen and then it's going to disappear. If you leave the map to back to the world map and come back in, it's going to fade in the screen, it's going to erase the event again, and it'll just auto run at the beginning so that you don't uh, get stuck with the black screen. Once you've done all three, uh, all three of those things, the common event, made the auto run, made this event, and then linked it to your buttons, uh, Yanfly's button common events plugin, you're pretty much good to go. So hopefully you like this tutorial. Um, I know that there's possibly a better way to do this so that we can uh, fly around. Another thing is, if we try to press the button while we're not in the airship, nothing will happen, which is exactly what you want. So I'm pressing the button, nothing's happening. But if I press it while I'm in my airship, then it'll access the common event. So hopefully you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy this sort of uh, content. If you have a special request or a comment that you'd like to, to make, you could do so in the comments below. So uh, thank you guys once again for being awesome, and we will see you in the next tutorial.